Welcome back to Judy's Keto Kitchen. Today I'm making a cranberry orange bread. It's based off of my Irish soda bread and our Irish soda bread recipe is on our website and will be linked below. But I'll do a video on that closer to Irish Day, St. Patrick's Day. So I was saying, thinking I need to make a cranberry bread. I bought all these cranberries and and I miss cranberry bread. So I thought, well, I'll adapt this recipe and make a cranberry orange bread. So I start off with one and a half cups of pork rind flour, which is actually 93 grams. And as you all know, I prefer to weigh my ingredients because who knows what one and a half cups is like. One time is this, one time is that. So I like to weigh them. And to that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of egg white powder. And I love baking with egg white powder. It gives everything a, a, a firmer texture. So I use it a lot in my baking. And then we're going to do a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking powder. Now in my Irish soda bread, I use xanthan gum. I'm not going to use it in this one. What I am going to do is I have here about a, a, about a half a cup of cranberries. It's 75 grams. I'm going to chop them up so it's going to be noisy. And if you hear any noises, those are my cats. We decided not to lock them up today to see if they'd behave. So loud bangs and crashes, that's the cats. So we're just going to mix all this together. You can see the white of the egg white powder is all mixed in. Now we're going to add the wet ingredients. So we're going to have a teaspoon of orange extract. Well, it's just about a teaspoon. And we're going to... Um, Today I'm using French Vanilla Better Stevia. We get this on Wellevate. I have a protocol out there of anybody who's joined our Wellevate group that has all of the flavors listed. Um, I'm using French Vanilla today, but right lately maple has been like my favorite. And the next would be um, English Toffee. And I'm using a peppermint one to go with my chocolate ice cream, but you just, Pour in some of that. That's probably a half a teaspoon. You have two large eggs. A half a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, which is one and a half teaspoons. And then two tablespoons of coconut milk or any nut milk. I used to use hemp milk a lot. Oh, that's a teaspoon. Yeah, two teaspoons. and you mix it all up. Now I'm going to form this on a... I've lined a baking sheet with parchment paper. And you're going to form this. I'm going to form it into like a log. And yes, my hands are clean. Because it one point I thought I wanted to make biscotti out of it, so if I form it like this, I still have the option to make biscotti. And then you're going to place it in a 350 degree oven for 25 minutes. Then you're going to take it out of the oven and let it cool for 20 minutes. So I'll see you back here in 45 minutes. So the cranberry orange bread was in the oven for 25 minutes. I took it out and it's been out of the oven for 20 minutes. Oh, look at this. This looks so good. And just looking at it the way it is, this would make an excellent biscotti. So I will have to try that later. But right now, let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Mmm. You can see what it looks like. On the inside, you can taste the orange, you can taste the cranberries. This is delicious. I will definitely be making another one into biscotti and I'll let you know how that comes out.
Mm. Mm.